Hey, how you doing everyone? This is Jonathan Coase. In today's free SEO training, I'm going to be sharing with you how to optimize your anchors in the best possible performance so you're able to rank higher in the search engines. Because if you're buying backlinks, you just want to make sure that out of those backlinks, you have a good ratio of the different types of anchors. There's four of them in total. There's generic anchors, main anchors, then you got raw anchors, and then you have brand anchors. So out of these four, I'm going to be sharing with you the ratio in this video on how much of the different types of anchors you should be using in proportion to the ones where you really only should be just using a little bit of or in certain cases none if you over optimize your anchors so i'm going to be talking about in this video and i'm also going to share with you how to fix that because you'll know if you've over optimized your anchors if your rankings start falling down in the search engines like the second page the third page so what i've done in this video I've pulled up this website, healthandfitnesstips.net, and I'm going to be just using this URL slug as an example as well as the content on that page. So if you don't know, an anchor is just a clickable link that you have going to your main key phrase, whatever you're trying to rank for. I have it in this document right here. You should be able to access this in the description for further reference, but it's really simple and you'll see why when I explain this video. So I just go ahead and read it so we can follow along together. But just so you know, as we're going through this, there's four different types of anchors. And on the left hand side here, I'm going to be kind of creating this as I'm doing this video. But on the left hand side here, you can go to any one of these sections. So raw anchors in regards to the ratio, we just want to make sure we're using about 80 percent of these and brand anchors so these top two here we want to make sure we're using about 80 percent of those so when we buy backlinks eight out of the ten should be a mix of raw anchors and brand anchors so that's the ratio for these two raw anchors are simply just the urls of your web pages different variations of them so for an example you can have healthandfitnesstips.net slash ketogenic diet weight loss on a budget and then a variation of that would be healthandfitnesstips.net diet weight loss ketogenic on a budget you see what i'm saying it's just mix up the words just different variations of it and another example of this is just having the actual website itself so whether it be https and then go see your website or you just have www and then go see your website even though it'll only just be this so let me give an example so if i'll just copy this and i'm going to go back to this section here so let's just say that this is the only thing on the actual page you still have it going back to this main website here so let me just go ahead and copy this real quick so copy link address and then so you still have it going here so if you were to link it like on the main page you'll have it going to your actual link so if i'll just i'll just paste it in here like so now another example of this would just be again say www at health and fitness tips.net so www this is another example of the raw anchor just the variations of them and again this would actually be going to your main link because keep in mind we're trying to rank for this link right here this is the main link that we're trying to rank for so when we're picking the raw anchors out of our backlinks we just want to make sure that we have about 80 percent of the different variations of those in regards to the raw anchors so for an example if you want to optimize a post for the keyword youtube thumbnail a b testing your raw anchors could include either the full url of the page let's just say if i had jonathancoast.net slash youtube thumbnail a b testing on any one of these then just having different variations of that so jonathancoast.net slash thumbnail a b testing youtube jonathancoast.net a b testing youtube thumbnail jonathancoast.net split testing thumbnail youtube so just different variations of that or on my website if you go to the actual content itself inside the blog post you can have different versions of this so let's just say if it's just jonathancoast.net then you'll have it linked to our main anchor here the, the one that actually has this in the url slug so youtube thumbnail a b slash testing but you actually link that as i did here so as you can see it only says https four slash four slash health and fitness tips dot net but it's linked to the actual url that we're trying to uh, rank for so so these are examples of raw anchors just different variations of your url so when it comes to brand anchors they're a little bit different instead of using the actual url like the url itself it'll be a text of your main brands if your website is like mine jonathancoast.net then it'll be stuff like jonathan slash coats john coats it'll just be the text on the actual page but it'll be different variations of that text so it can be any way people refer to you for an example jonathan coats john coats so if we're using health and fitness tips it'll be something to that variation so health and fitness tips like actual spelled out a n d or health and will be like the symbol fitness tips on the actual page and then you hyperlink it to the actual link itself 
So that's what I mean by brand anchors. Each one of these, even though they're different variations of each other, like Jonathan hyphen coats or just regular Jonathan coats or John coats, they'll all be going to our main website. So it'll be like jonathancoats.net slash YouTube AB thumbnail. They'll all be hyperlinked in each one of these. And again, with the ratio with this, you just want to make sure out of your just overall that you're using about 80% of these. So it'll be the same with brand anchors and raw anchors here. So just about 80% of these. So now when we go a little bit further down to generic anchors, this is more stuff that just applies to anything. It can go anywhere on your website. It doesn't have to be like an actual text, but you wanna use about 10% of these. So out of your anchors, you wanna use 10% of the generic anchors and then 10% of the main anchors, which would be a long tail version of your keyword. So let's just say if your thumbnail is ketogenic diet weight loss on a budget and there can be like a longer long tail version of a fragmentation of that so keto diet lose weight on a budget save money you know just different longer variations of that and that'll be the case with the main anchor so instead of using your main keyword you can create long tail fragmented versions of it and sprinkle them throughout your anchors and you can also use synonyms so for an example a b testing another way of saying that will be split testing. So a health and wellness, another way of using that would be health and fitness, nutrition and wellness, self-care and wellness, nutrition, self-care, etc. Different variations along with the synonyms, words that mean the same thing. So main anchor should make up around 10% of your anchor ratio, and you should just aim to use one main anchor per link. So let's talk about generic anchors here. Now this is on your page where you have stuff like continue reading, learn more, click here, get access now, that type of stuff. In the same case applies here, you only want to use about 10% of the overall anchor ratio. And it's the same thing here, you should aim to use about one generic anchor per link. But these up here, you just want to make sure your anchor ratio is about 80% overall. And I forgot to mention, it's important to note that even when using raw anchors, you should still link to the main URL. So let's just say if you've over optimized and you've put too many different anchors and Google kind of feels like you're doing too much, you sent too many of the same kind of backlinks, so what you can do is you can actually dilute the entire process. You can send more backlinks to the website, just kind of increase the overall authority, credibility of that link and that specific page that you're trying to rank for. So this is stuff that you're going to be seeing me doing along in the next 12 to 15 months. One thing you want to do is you just want to make sure that your main anchors, we want to increase that to 20%. So another thing you want to do is remember, we said that the generic anchor is just for the main ratio when we're just going about it normally the generic anchors and the main anchors they're 10 percent 10 percent and then the other two raw anchors and brand anchors are 80 percent well if say if you've over optimized and you're going back in and you're trying to change things you're trying to fix it well you don't want to have any main anchors at all and you want to increase it the generic anchors from 10 percent to 20 percent and you can just send a bunch of backlinks overall to that website to dilute so that's it for this video i just want to explain that to you it's a little complex but i wanted to break it down for you and give you a couple examples again this document is going to be in the description so be sure to take a look at that i have it below in the tools and the resources and if you like content like this i talk about everything on my website i recommend you check it out when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales that's pretty much all i talk about and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. I share I share weekly videos on stuff like this all the time. So I'll be sure to leave this in the description so you have access to it. Because again, this is a little confusing. So you can come here for reference just to kind of clear things up if you have any type of confusions. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. All right. So with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.